In today's video, I take in the grand Helsinki Central Station, ponder the mysterious presidential lounge, and admire the very comfortable modern Finnish trains in as non anorak kind of way as possible. This is the main commuter station in Helsinki and is used by approximately 400,000 people per day, of which about 200,000 are passengers. The station is mostly clad in Finnish granite and its distinguishing features are its clock tower and its two pairs of statues holding the spherical lamps lit at night time on either side of the main entrance. Animated characters based on the statues have recently been featured in some of the major advertising campaigns by the Finland government's own railway operator VR to the extent of releasing rap singles allegedly sung by the stone men. It serves as the terminus for all trains in the Helsinki commuter rail network, as well as all the Helsinki-bound long-distance trains in Finland. Helsinki's first railway station was built in 1862. This station that we see here was designed by Ilal Sarinen and inaugurated in 1919. If this counts for anything, Helsinki Central was chosen as one of the world's most beautiful railway stations by the BBC in 2013. A sad fact for the station, President Kiosto Kallio died at the station on the 19th of December 1940 from a heart attack while going back home to Nevala after having retired as the president. The clock tower on the station was damaged in a fire on the 14th of June 1950. The metro station was connected to the Central Railway Station in 1982. I'm not going to eat here, but this is cool. I think that's Burger King. Beautiful Burger King. You don't see beautiful Burger Kings like this very much. Amazing. Not your typical Burger King, I'm sure you will agree, but my advice would be to avoid this sort of food at all costs. It's almost a shame it is a Burger King, really. What did it go? I don't know, I didn't go on a Burger King. It would be nice if it was a nice sort of cafeteria or bar, coffee shop, something. Just a heads up, I'm not sponsored by the Helsinki railway station or anyone here. I made this video because I thought maybe you might be interested. And if you like this content, do click the subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it lets this small channel grow so incrementally. Every like helps, as they say. I'm out on the main central platform. This is where all the trains come into Helsinki. If you want to get the train to the airport, this is the best place to come. You get the train to the airport or the train to any part of the northern country. And behind this very nondescript door, I just asked security, is the Republicans' president waiting room. It was built, I think, in probably 1912, I think it was built, and it was used until 1940. Since then, probably become quite obsolete but they say that the prime minister and maybe the prime minister's guests can wait inside this room and it's very very grand it's almost as grand as the central station it's not for joe public i asked if i could go in it's not possible Finns don't have access to it i believe it's quite a beautiful room the lounge features furniture designed by elal sarian has two entrances a bigger one leading in from the main square and a smaller one leading in from the main central station hall which is where we are today the lounge was completed in 1911 and was originally intended for the private use of the emperor of russia but the first world war delayed the official inauguration to 1919 at which point it had been converted into a temporary military hospital and afterwards given to the use of the finnish president the next morning Well, it's very early in the morning and I'm about to get a train to Northern Savo, north of Helsinki for about three hours. And I note these beautiful statues. All of them have got propaganda painted all over them. Notice the armband at the top. Well, it's not an armband, it's a plaster. Plaster is sort of telling the public, go get jabbed, go get jabbed. Because that really works. This is very controversial. It's almost like we are in the Matrix. I will be going to Kuopio at 8.19. Whoa. From platform nine. The only disadvantage of this station, as beautiful as it is, there's nowhere to sit. I've been sat on the floor, wait for my train. It's a little bit annoying. There are 19 platforms at the station. 
just want to give you some insights on what it's like to travel by train in Finland. It almost looks like a Starship Enterprise on these trains. Really, really high spec, beautiful seats. We've got braille to tell you what number of the seats you're on. You can sit anywhere. What have we also got? We've got USB ports, we've got plugs, I mean. We've got plugs to plug your thing in. But what, check this out, what I like about this. Sit down on the chair. You can be facing out this way. Go, oh, I don't want to be facing, I don't want to be facing this way. Spin the chair around. Face this way. It's fantastic. Be like, oh, Mr. Bond, I've been expecting you. Good evening, Mr. Bond. <laughs> I quite like it. Really, really smart, nifty trains. And reasonably affordable. Given that Finland is an expensive country, train travel here is the right price. For example, just to get from the airport to the center is four euros ten. This journey that's taking, I think, about three hours is going to cost, it's costing about 20 euros. It's a good price. Subscribe and you will get to see my next destination. And a big thank you to my paid subscribers. It's you that helps with the motivation to keep making these videos. More videos to come from the rest of the world. Stay tuned, keep progressing. And if you like this, check out another video and I'll see you next time.